Hello my lovely Capricornians, welcome to your February 2020 reading. I hope this finds you well. I'd like to thank you all for subscribing, liking, sharing and commenting on my channel. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you will know when I'm posting more videos for you. This is a general reading for you my lovely Capricornians. Um, it's a reading for Capricorn Sun Rising and Moon Sign. Oh, and before I forget as well, um, if you would like to have a private reading with me, make sure you follow the link below to my website and you can book a private reading from there. I'm also offering the 2020 yearly readings. That happens till the end of January. So by the time I post this video, you'll have about a week. So if you really, if you would like to have a yearly reading with me, make sure you get in on that before the offer expires till next year or at the end of this year. So make sure you do that. Okay, so let's get on with your um, reading. I feel for you Capricornians that February is going to be a month of reflection. It's going to be a month of decision making. It's going to be a month of really processing. So it's a month of processing and thinking through situations, thinking, thinking through um, decisions that you're needing to make and um, having the courage to then make those decisions that bring in change into your life, which starts the change coming in. So the change will start in February and it will move move through the year with you and, and pick up momentum. I also feel like January was a great month for review for you. Um, a lot of um, thoughts, a lot of um, processing was happening in January as well. So that was also an important month in laying down these foundations that bring you to February. And of course the um, the timing's gonna be different for all of you because your natal charts are all very different as well. But I feel like there was, there's, there was work that you put in, there's efforts that you made in January that will flow into February which will lead to decision making which will lead to uh, bringing the changes in that you are wanting in this heartfelt um, process I feel in February. It's to do with emotions, to do with processing um, as well. So that's going to be really interesting for you. Let's see, let's see how that unfolds. Let's, let's have a read of your spread and see what, what's happening here. The card, the first card that is, you know, really what's around you, it's the Nine of Cups. I love this card. The Nine of Cups is the genie card. It's the wish card. It's about um, tapping into your emotions. What do you desire? What are you wanting to create? There's been, you know, this comes off the back of the reviewing and and processing of January and in uh, beginning of February there's a real processing of um, what reality do you want to bring in what is what's in your heart what's heartfelt in the changes that you would like to see happen in the reality that you would like to create um, that is all coming in around you so those changes are going to be different for each of you um, with this nine of cups but it's also about being emotionally balanced to be able to really look at and make those decisions and make those choices about the direction that you are wanting to go in, about the changes that you're wanting to make. For some of you, those changes are going to be quite profound. For others of you, they're going to be more subtle. They're internal changes. There's a shift within the self. It's a shift within you, which is really interesting because I feel like it's sort of a gentle process. It's happening when you're ready, in your time. It's your processing, which I really like. It's crossed with the star. And interestingly, this is about making decisions. This is about making decisions with clarity, with calmness, um, being able to really see, um, you know, looking at the reflection, what's being reflected back at you, what's coming up at you in your reality that you would like to change, that you would like to make decisions on. Um, it's not about rushing a decision, it's about having that internal balance and peace and clarity in making those choices and decisions. It's about, and because it's, you know, it's, it's, the night, it's night, it's evening, stars come out at night, night is, the, you know, the, the, um, 
dark side of the soul, the secret part of the soul, the, the, the things that are hidden from others. They're not out in the daylight. They're things that you're feeling. They're things that you're wanting to bring change to um, that's going on within you. And it's those decisions will be best made when there is clarity, when there is calmness, when there is that even emotion there of what your desires are and what direction you want to be going in. And that couples really well with the um, Nine of Cups, which is the wish card. What are those desires that you want? And, you know, having that, that clarity, meditating on that, you know, um, it, you're then going to be able to bring that into your reality with the Nine of Cups, with the Genie card, with the Wish card. What do you want to create? So, you know, that's a really lovely, you know, both those cards depict emotions because they both contain water. And so water is about emotions. So it's the emotional side, my lovely Capricornians, that you're coming into alignment with, that you're really processing, that you're working out. So I like that. What's, what is underlying all of that with you is that the two of coins, the two of pentacles, this is about balance. This is about juggling two situations or a couple of situations, juggling them so that they are, um, you know, you're keeping that balance. It's about keeping balance. So it's interesting because so far at the beginning of February, this all speaks of balance. This all speaks of inner balance. This all speaks of um, juggling your emotions, lining things up, knowing what you want to do in moving forward. Um, it, this is also about the practicality of life. You know, pentacles is an earth suit it's about earth you know things that are grounded things that are earthed the basic things in life you've been busy balancing balancing out events balancing out situations balancing out um, what you're doing so there's been you know you've really sort of staying on top of things keeping your balance you have needed to juggle things around you've needed to keep things juggled you've needed to keep things balanced I feel like there's this keeping of you know a lot of people happy there's this spreading yourself out spreading yourself to sort of of keep keep things aligned keep things running as they need to be running keep things smooth but it's also about being true to yourself so you need to also keep yourself aligned and keep yourself true so when you're giving to others when you're doing for others um, in February it's also about keeping your alignment keeping your balance um, keeping that smooth and um in a place where you're going to also be able to make decisions because I feel like there's changes that are coming in and those changes are things that you've desired, the changes are things that you've wanted to bring in and um, and it's about then having the courage to see that through, to, to bring those changes in that you're wanting to create, you're wanting to manifest um, because they are challenging. And that's, I'm not going to mince my words. Those situations have been challenging, are going to be challenging for you. There's decisions that you've got to make. Um, it's to do with the past that it's going to come up for you. Um, so there's things that are unfinished that need to be completed, that need to be finished so that you can move forward um, in in your reality, you know, to bring into your reality what you want, to bring in the changes that you're wanting. So there's this weighing out, there's this reflection of, of things that are going on in the past and some of you have already done that, uh, but things will, will come, little triggers will come up for you again as well in February to look at so that you can move on, so that you can take with you that wisdom and that knowledge and, those, and what you've done and move forward with this because I feel like for some of you there's this sense of stuckness as well, being stuck in a situation, being stuck somewhere where you're not comfortable about it you don't want to be there you want you do want to move on but in order to move on there's some big decisions to be made there's just hard decisions to be made for some of you it's in your personal life for some of you it's in your work environment uh, for some of you it's to do with family you know it's it's about making making those hard decisions making the hard decisions which are going to be challenging for you but there's nothing here that you can't overcome there's nothing here that you can't uh, make work for you there's nothing that's going to be presented to you that you can't it's about you really um, having the courage losing the fear and choosing that direction that you're going to be moving in 
bringing in the changes and this is about you bringing in the changes you making those changes so I feel like this is something that a lot of you are processing within yourselves um, you're not talking too much about it to other people this is something that you're sorting out you're working out in yourself which is really good to play I want to say to you play your cards close to your chest don't discuss what you're going to be doing or what you're thinking about because I feel like there's people around you that will dissuade you from it they will want you to make other choices and other decisions but they're decisions and choices that are going to be good for them not necessarily good for you you know what your best interests are you know what you're wanting to bring in you know the changes that you're wanting to make and so it's about honoring yourself here and really keeping your cards close to your chest in in bringing that in in making those changes the Capricornians as we keep proceeding and moving moving through February you've also got the temperance card you see this again speaks of harmony and balance um, so there's a lot of that you this is you know you've you've had the star you've had the two of pentacles or coins you've got temperance this all speaks of balance so this is going to play a really important part um, in, in February for you to really do things that are going to keep your balance that are not going to set you um, off center it's you're going to it's also going to help you have that clarity this is about harmony this is about alignment this is about balance so if you're needing to meditate or go for walks or spend time on your own um, lose yourself in a book anything that's going to center you anything that's going to balance you is going to be really helpful for you in February to make the choices and decisions that you're wanting to make and I feel like they're not things that are going to happen to you in February they're things that their desires and choice and things that you've had and you've been thinking about for quite some time and it seems to that I just get a sense of that's what's coming up to the surface here for you so it's about finding that harmony finding that peace finding that balance finding that center that is yours finding that inner strength that is yours um, to help you make those choices and decisions or define the direction you want to move in Def define the direction that you're wanting to move in because it really is about you it's not about anybody else making those decisions for you this is about you making those choices and decisions which are going to be really good and as we move along you know you you come into your own you've got the queen of coins here this is male or female and this is you you know this is you this is Capricorn this is your strength it's about you being really ground you do become very grounded you become very very grounded you become really determined and really strong so you get that feeling once you've sort of got that balance and that clarity once you get that clarity you're going to know what you need to do you're going to know what decisions and choices you're needing to make and I feel like you're going to be unstoppable you're really going to move forward on whatever it is you've decided to move forward on and um, do it with confidence but also with nurturing of other people um, you know Queen's Queen uh, card it's always a little bit about nurturing up they're nurturers they they nurture other people even though it re represents male or female but it's about d making those decisions with care but still being true to yourself with confidence in in that forward movement absolutely and and being grounded being grounded so you these are not decisions that you're making wow it's really a month of decisions it's not decisions that, and choices that you're making um, on an emotional level as an emotional outburst you're really getting an, into alignment getting into that balance and your feet are very firmly on the ground in moving forward so you've really um, thought about this you've really weighed things out um, in making those choices and decisions which is I really if I feel really I feel this energy is coming through of real confidence here of really standing up and being counted this is what speaking up for what you want which is very empowering you have the two of wands you see so this leads to the two of wands and this is about yep you make it's not even a decision it's about um, weighing out your options and and choosing one and moving forward it's going to it's going to move you forward and I want I'm hearing the word it's going to propel you forward not move you forward it's going to propel you forward it's going to be really positive in where many of you have felt stuck 
or stayed or unable to move, unable to make decisions or even being um, weighed down by other people around you, pleasing other people where it you, you're living your life according to other people. There's this release of energy and it's this this moving forward um, to where you want to be, to do what you want to do, to uh, bring in the future that you're, you feel is, is there for you, that is deserving and uh, that you desire, um, that you want. For some of you, that's, you know, the work environment, getting that promotion, quitting that job and getting another job, um, Taking on, you know, deciding to take on some sort of study that's going to improve your condition, improve your lot in life. Deciding to leave work and retire so that you can explore a new future, explore um, areas that you haven't been able to explore before. Um, on a personal note, uh, changing the way things are done in the home, um, the way work roles are distributed, jobs are distributed. If you're doing um, too much making those changes as well, um, eliminating toxic people, bringing people in from the past. It's going to be different for all of you, um, these decisions that you know, you're making, that you're wanting to bring in. But they're all really positive. They're all really good. They're all really good. You've got the Ten of Pentacles here, the Ten of Pentacles. And it's about then counting your successes. It's about counting your successes. It's about... Um, achieving what you're wanting to achieve these this is a very grounded earthed um, suit and it's your suit it's your you know it, you're very much at home here you're feeling really grounded and practical but it's also about bringing into your reality the abundance that you're wanting and that's abundance in family in love in health in finances what is it for you what does it represent for you but you, you, are, you arrive. By the end of February, you're going to start seeing results. You're going to start seeing results and forward movement in the direction that you have wanted to take. Um, and that's going to be proportional to the efforts and the decisions that you make. Are you honouring yourself? Are you being true to yourself? Do you have the courage to make those decisions? But they're going to absolutely give you the results that you are seeking. So there's absolutely nothing to fear here. There's nothing to fear here. Um, it's about really allowing yourself to move forward. Allowing yourself to move forward. You've got two cards as your completion cards, and I'm going to give you those. You've got the King of Wands. Now this is male or female, and this and this is Aries, Sagittarius, Leo person that's around you. Um, and I feel like there's some sort of um, at the end of February. There's some sort of um, I get this word explosion. I get this word of, you know, there's some there's something that they really want you to do or they uh, something that you that that they they want a direction they want you to go in. How strong are you going to be in standing your ground here? This is this is the universe really coming in and testing you. How determined are you to bring in changes because there's someone here, this person here is going to create some sort of resistance. It's going to create some sort of wall. Are you, are you then going to just push that wall down and keep going and honouring the self? I feel like this person can be quite controlling um, and quite opinionated and, and want you to do what they want you to do. Um, so you, it's quite a force to contend with, but there's nothing here that you can't deal with. There's nothing here that you can't, um, you know, um, make the right decisions in, in honouring this because you're pretty much unstoppable when you get to the end of February. You know what you want and anything that stands in your way, you're going to be able to, to get us over that, jump over that hurdle. But I feel like there's someone here around you that um, can really try and put up a wall around you. So be mindful of that. Be mindful of that. That's crossed with the moon. And the moon is your inner desires. The moon is your your inner self. You know, what are you wanting? It's about balancing your reality and your subconscious, your your inner desires, your inner secrets, bringing that out and, and honouring that, honouring the... Um, honoring your desires and so when you do that it's going to create some waves quite possibly with this person that's that's there that's around you at the end of um, 
February, but there's nothing. If you if you stay strong and honour yourself, it's it's just a whole lot of hot air. It's just it, you're just going to be able to go get through that rather than take it on board and 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 keep you where you you have been. These are the changes you're wanting to bring in. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. So there's a real challenge here for you in February. You're being challenged. What is it that you are wanting? What direction are you wanting to move in? Are you ready to stand up and honour you, honour the self? That's what the test is in February for you, um, which is a good thing. I like it. You know, it's a, self a journey of self-discovery, a journey of self-discovery for you in, Janu in, in February, I should say. This is February. Self-discovery in February, which is absolutely fabulous. So we are, um, if I've said January, I've meant February. So um, fantastic. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a card from the Dreamtime reading cards for you. This is honouring the Indigenous people of Australia. That's why I've decided to use these cards and um, how they have been great care caretakers of this country until recently when white man's decided to make the decisions. It hasn't worked. We need to get back to the old way of doing things with our nation. But anyway, let's have a look at enough politics. Let's have a look at what these cards have to hold for you and what they're going to say as a as words of wisdom. Oh, there it is. There it is. So, all right. So, you've got the sugar glider. How interesting is that? The sugar glider. Sugar gliders from our possum family, and they glide from tree to tree, and they can actually spread out their their arms and legs and really propel themselves across the branches, across tree top tree tops. It takes a, a certain amount of courage, and a certain amount of trust to do that. And so, what this card brings to you, the energy that it brings to you, is um, overcoming fear. And having the courage to, to take that leap of faith, to bring in the changes that you're desiring. So this is asking you to be courageous and to trust and to lose the fear and move forward. So, you know, it's about taking that leap of faith for you, trusting it, trusting the process, trusting that, that the universe, God, your guides, source, whatever it is for you, the angels have you. And they will also help you take that leap of faith. Because I feel like, it, you know, you, you will get to the other side. You will bring in the changes that you're desiring. So lay those foundations in February. Have the courage to do that. Absolutely fabulous. I'm also going to give you a card from the Angels of Abundance card um, to see what your affirmation is for um, and your message is for the month of February. Well. That jumped out, didn't it? Let's have a look at what that one is. Too, it's too amazing, isn't it, really? It's just amazing. Take a divinely guided chance. How appropriate is that? I just think I love the way spirit works with us. All positive change and successful ventures involve a degree of risk and you are ready to follow your divine guidance to new territories. As you leave behind that which is comfortable and familiar but no longer appropriate for you, you make room for new and more meaningful opportunities. Now, if that doesn't summarise your reading together with the, um, the sugar glider, they're quite powerful messages that are coming through for you, my lovely Capricornians. So I wish you many, many blessings. I wish you ease and grace as you jump from treetop to treetop and trusting the and trust the process many blessings to you my lovely capricorns if you would like to book a private reading with me you can follow the link below to my website and book a private reading from there also don't forget the offer of a yearly reading there's by the time i post this video it'll be about a week to the end of 
um, January. So make sure you get in um, for that before the offer expires if that's what you would like. Many blessings to you.